so sick. I'm ready for this. I'm hot. My, I'm fucking hot already. Where's my fucking phone? Did I leave it in the house? I'm such an idiot. Did you definitely no, leave it in there? I, I don't know, unless it just disappeared in my hands. Hi vlog. Brandon forgot his phone. It's gonna be out of breath when he's back, I think, because yeah. he ran. We're all gonna start sweating so soon. I can feel the heat off Gary already. Like. Great start to the Q&A. What's going on guys? Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day. It is the final day in Cork. I'm leaving these guys in the next three hours, but we've had an incredible four days here. First day was chill. Second day, recorded a YouTube video. Got fucked up in the nighttime. Third day was a write-off. We just like, Dude. we did nothing. <laughs> Today, we're getting back on it, but we thought to end a sick weekend, we'd do a Q&A. I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram, so right now, we've screenshotted our favorites. We're gonna go through them. Some are fitness, some are juicy. Actually pretty good. I'm excited. So, all three of us, me, Caroline, and Gary. We're gonna go through them and uh, yeah. Alright, should we get started? See how it goes. I don't want to like pick them in the order that like, I've, I screenshot them in. Will I okay. pick a random one? You go through them. Okay. Yeah, 3D. Yeah, sick. Oh my this god, thing. look yeah. at this. <laughs> Already juicy. How was your friendship with Gary? Uh, we just clicked, man. We just fucking brawls nearly. Yeah, we actually met for the first time very, very briefly at Body Power after the European Championships. I was running through the expo. We like briefly said hello. Yeah. That, and I was like, holy shit, this guy is humongous. <laughs> and I just knew, I, I felt like an instant connection to this guy. I was like, you know, we're, we're going to be bros. And this weekend we just like bonded and just got along and it's uh It's yeah. like you've been friends for ages because you've so much in common with like bodybuilding. Exactly. And, like, yeah, true. Your goals true. are quite similar. So exactly. I feel like you click straight away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah, man. Okay, you can pick the next one. Oh, no. You're, well, just, you're well, orchestrating this whole thing. Okay. Would you ever date a guy who wasn't Jack? That's for you, obviously. Mm -hmm. I ain't dating no guys. I know that guy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so. I don't think being jacked is important to me, but like, I would find it hard to connect with someone that doesn't go to the gym. And yeah. didn't have the same hobbies as me. I wouldn't completely exclude someone that doesn't lift, but like if they didn't yeah. have like a healthy lifestyle and like believe in the same things as I did, I feel like we wouldn't click in the first place. So I really believe in like the fact that opposites do attract, but it is sort of key for like you to be able to bond on something. Two people need to be like sort of different so you can learn different things from each other. So the relationship is like versatile. Yeah. And, like, you have different things, but like you still need to be able to bond on something. And especially when fitness, like that's our whole life, like tracking food, exactly. training. Like it's not just like a hobby where you just go training for an hour one night a week. Yeah. It's like a lifestyle. And I feel like because you've been with such a brute for so long. I know. I feel getting, like... getting with like a skinny dude would be so weird. Yeah. <laughs> when did you two become friends? London meetup with Alphalete. I like watched your videos well before. I feel like I knew you before I met you. Like yeah. because we watched the videos. Which is a great thing because like obviously like when you meet for the first time when you have watched someone's videos because like it's kind of weird how like all the Alphalete guys we all watch each other's stuff and like we're all kind of fans of each other's things. Like, I was a fan of your channel well before I met you. How people come to meetups to meet their people, the people they watch online. When we all meet, it's the same thing. Yeah. You're, you're meeting. Yeah people that you've watched so it's just as cool that's it that we we never run out of things to yeah. talk about because like we, like, we all do the same thing six months ago not even i know it feels we like i've known in my whole life yeah literally <laughs> that's so weird like if i met someone else in marriage i feel like i wouldn't even know them but like yeah. we click straight away this is the fair. second time we've ever met <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's it fucking, it's so is. weird how to approach girls in the gym how do you don't think? <laughs> just don't you know no. one piece of advice nothing one guy did approach me once and i thought it was the creepiest thing ever this is when i was like maybe 17 so i was yeah. young came over with a piece of paper with his number on it and just left it next to my dumbbells. I just oh think it's not God. a good place. Like maybe before her session or after her session, like if you're coming to and from the gym, but I feel like just don't approach a girl if she's lifting like. And one thing that I've seen many times and I don't think there's anything else that makes me cringe more is when you try and correct a girl's form to have a conversation with her. Oh my God. Oh like my don't God. be that guy. No matter how wrong she's doing it, if she's literally about to snap her neck, Maybe. If she doesn't have good form, just leave her alone. She's going to pick it up. She's going to learn herself. Or one of her girlfriends will say, that looks kind of weird. Wait till after. Yeah, wait I till think. after. That's our before. Or like try and stalk her Instagram and slide in there separately. Yeah. 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 Well, that's what I did with Brittany. Is that how you met? I saw this girl. She just did like, she won like Miss Island. Yeah, she won Miss Island. No, she won a bikini Brittany show. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How weird's that? Oh my <laughs> yeah. God, I didn't know that Yeah, when she was 17, she won Miss Island. I wanted to know about competing. So I was like, oh my God, this girl just won like a show in a federation. I don't know anything about federations. I've been going to the gym for two years. I want to learn. Mm -hmm. So I DM'd her because I wanted to learn. Yeah, I just, I you just, wanted to learn. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> I wanted to learn everything. <laughs> Future show plans as well as off season plans. So so I am in like peak off season at the moment. I am going to continue growing, hopefully, until the end of this year. Prepping at the end of this year for three shows, one of them being PCA, the one that Brandon won. The body power. Yeah. You Hell yeah, man. You could compete against each other at some stage, so. Definitely, definitely in the future. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I won't do the body power show next year because I personally want to do an NPC show because hopefully the visa process goes well and I'll be living in America. So I do like NPC, hopefully qualify, then do a national show. Mm -hmm. That's my Sounds goal. Good. I don't know what shows yet though. That's the goal around mid year next year. I would literally fly back to the UK to 
watch it. Yes. So like, you should. His body you power is back. like the UK expo, and I feel like that's where I get the chance to like meet the most people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like being from the UK, I'd fly back for that anyway. But see, being able to see you compete as well, that hell yeah, so man, sick. That that's sick. Cool. In the next six months, I'm thinking early next year. I've never competed before, but like I sort of train and eat like a competitor anyway, just trying to like add as much shit on now as I can before I cut down for it. Your arm size. We actually did this last, last night. Last night, yeah. We're both 18 inches. I think Gary's 18.1 inches. I need to what open are you? these windows, guys. I'm getting hot. It's pretty steamy in here. What am I? How big are your arms? <laughs> Probably like seven inches. <laughs> they are not seven inches. <laughs> 12 or 13 yeah. inches. You think so? Yeah. I'm not even You've got some good check. arms. No, I don't. You're pretty hench. <laughs> Does sex count as cardio? Definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. If you're like kind of slow paced and kind of boring, you're not going to break a sweat. That's your you... list. Huh? Yeah. That's your list. That's cardio. your list cardio. You've got to commit to like a good half an hour session there. Yeah. yeah. And then it's a qu not a two minute qu job. A quickie is not cardio. What's your opinion on smoking weed and do you smoke yourself? I tried it once when I was 14. I had a really bad experience. Whiteed, which is the slang for just getting fucked up. I took a couple drags and then like three blowbacks. Which 14 is, is so young though. That's yeah, probably right. I was super young. I was super young. It was a blunt as well. There was like no fucking tobacco in it. Oh my god. They put the blunt in the mouth backwards and then they blow the smoke from the back and then you essentially like cup it and then breathe the smoke in. Oh my god, that and sounds intense. I was looking in the mirror and I couldn't open my eyes. <laughs> I was like, open. I was freaking out. Out because we put this girl called Chelsea who was really small in a suitcase we put her in my mom's wardrobe because it was fucking hilarious oh and I was losing my shit because I was like my mom's calling me I don't smoke weed either but I think if you were to smoke anything like I definitely smoke weed over smoking cigarettes I just feel like there's actually good things that come from smoking weed a lot of people say and if you suffer from like a lot of anxiety like people smoke weed just because of like that benefit but I also think that like the more you smoke weed you become accustomed to it and people say you can't become addicted to it but I do think you can become addicted to a feeling that's, that's so point. true and I have a very addictive personality so if, I think if I was to start smoking weed and enjoy it, I wouldn't stop. So I and can't. And for gym goers as well, like, don't people get really hungry after they smoke weed and like normally order loads of food with the munchies? That just wouldn't be ideal for what we want to do. Do you want to smoke weed, girl? Yeah, I smoked it once and I had the best time of my life. Um, <laughs> there we go. Would you smoke it though, like full time, or was it just no, once? No, I, I wouldn't care for it. Like, I wouldn't yeah. care. Yeah. yeah. Biggest turn off. Girls that smoke, definitely. Speaking of smoking, you know when you get really close to a girl, you end up doing kind of weird things that you wouldn't do in the beginning. Like I don't know, maybe like go to the bathroom in the same room, something that you do after like years of being together, or like actually accidentally burping, all those sort of things. And if you love the person, like you shouldn't be turned off by that. There's nothing worse personally than a, girl's, a girl for me that smokes cigarettes. She constantly smells of cigarettes. I just hate smoking. For me, it would be like guys that are really stuck up their own ass. I'm like, you could be as gorgeous as ever, but if you're full of yourself, and if you're only talking about yourself, you're ugly, like that's yeah. the biggest turn off ever vanity. for me. I would say the same as Brandon, smoking. What about an attribute, like a type of where a girl is? Hmm. Chip toenails. He is a thing for chip toenails. He hates chip toenails. I have a foot fetish, right? So you like feet? They need to be, yeah, if they're immaculate, like, then I really like <laughs> If they're, like, kind of chipped or any way that I don't like them, I'm very particular, then big turn off. <laughs> Not going there. Caroline's foot hygiene is fucking immaculate. <laughs> it's literally immaculate. pristine. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you think girls can be too muscular? I think it's very impressive. Yeah. yeah. But I don't find it attractive. Girls can be too muscular, but I'm the same as you. I'm like, if I see a massive bodybuilder, I know like people that don't go to the gym, they're like, oh my God, that's disgusting. But at the same time, I'm like, that's really impressive. Like they put yeah. in a lot yeah, of, of hard work. Like so. she killed herself for that physique. Like yeah. good for you. At what age did you start taking steroids? The reason I started taking steroids was because like my coach initially for my first show, which was the Body Power show in 2017, he said, if I don't take steroids, I won't win the show or I won't place well which is like fucking terrible like your coach shouldn't tell you mm. you're shit and you need to take steroids to win a show because essentially that's what happened and I started not because I wanted to but because my coach recommended me to do it and then once you start and do a prep on cycle you don't want to do it naturally because it's just not going to be as good I don't take steroids Caroline's natural. so Caroline's with, yeah <laughs> Well, like, do you, do you want to speak about well, like, it? Yeah, you can. Sure. Fuck it. Why not? Um, I was kind of in a similar position to Brandon. I actually started when I was 18. Far too fucking young. Yeah, that's my only regret with like anything to do in fitness. I did start too young. I should have fulfilled as much potential as I possibly could as a natural first and then look into that side of things. If you're going to like start taking steroids, you should wait as long as possible. You should see what you can do naturally. Like, yeah. you, just, you just should. Like You should like owe it to yourself. And if you're even applicable to it, like if you make no fucking gains, you've been training for like six years, you probably have shit genetics and you shouldn't take steroids because you're in the wrong game. It's not That's for the you, truth. Like, yeah, like, if, you, if you're joining six years naturally, you, you make no progress. Taking steroids isn't going to, like, it's not magic. You're still eating the same, if not more. You're still training the same, if not harder. And if it's already not working for you, then don't take steroids to compensate for your shit genetics. Like, just yeah. don't do it. <laughs> 
is going to put your head <laughs> Absolute at Absolute savage, but so true. Yeah. We have two left. Two left. What advice would you give to someone who is thinking about quitting the gym? Depends why you want to quit. Yeah, it depends why you want to quit. To go off like what I just said, like if it just isn't working out and you really want to dedicate a good amount of time to like maybe something else like entrepreneurial or you, or you want to like just dedicate the hours that you would spend in a gym to something else you're going to benefit from, that's one thing. Yeah. But if you just want to quit because you're lazy, I've got no I've got no like advice for you. You're just lazy. Care more about what you want to achieve because there are so many people out there that would care more than you and you will be overtaken. Like you will fall back if you just like don't give a shit enough. Going to the gym isn't hard. You get so much from it in terms of mindset yeah. and just like And if you stick at it long enough as well at the start like to see results then it becomes so much easier not to quit. Most Samuel's videos, yeah. like the more you do something, you just become accustomed to it and you build up the habit and then you reap the benefits from that habit. So advice to people that want to quit the gym, make sure it's for like a reason that's gonna benefit you other than the fact that you're just too lazy. Yeah, yeah I think. absolutely. <laughs> people would think I did this on purpose, but like it's the juicy one. Oh okay. The last one. What is your favorite sex position? I think I have to think about this. Oh my god, I'm sweating. One hundred percent all day, every day. No oh my that. god! Face down, booty up. Gay! Ah! <laughs> Yeah, I know that's mine too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, I think me and Brittany have like very different ones. My favorite one, I kind of have to be careful with because it's very easy to hurt Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's on her side, and this leg is up, okay. and I'm like on my knees. Like as if it was doggy, yeah. but she's like that. Wow, but she's sideways. And I'm like going in <laughs> the side. Yeah. She definitely prefers missionary. 100%. Really? I don't know why. I feel, I feel like I do missionary a little bit differently. I'll put my hand up her back, grab the back of her neck, and like force her down. Okay. So like is she the one that's moving? As well as me moving, yeah. Okay. Okay, so, that's a lot more going on so compared to a regular. It's almost like you're just fucking a doll. Because you... you <laughs> Oh Fuck. my god, I'm done! <laughs> I just have to chill out. Yeah, chill. All the work is done for yeah. me, like. And it, you don't even have to look at Gary. Yeah, I know. I yeah. could just think and do whatever can, I want. You can just take a little nap. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like scrolling through my phone. <laughs> okay, that's all the questions. There we go, that's it for the Q&A. Oh no, there's one more. Do you want to answer? How would your life be if you had never met Brittany? I wouldn't have a YouTube channel, so we wouldn't be doing this right now. In the beginning of our relationship, like we, ha we were doing long distance, I wanted to create a job for myself where I could work whatever I wanted to in the world so I could sustain the relationship. And I saw YouTube as being the thing because I watched YouTube videos and I was like, you know what? These guys could realistically work whatever they want to in the world. So it's essentially, like, I, I started the channel for my relationship. But I've been doing YouTube now for like four years since I started the channel. And it's been a job for the past like year and a half, two years. But me and Brittany did take like um, a year and a half break. But the initial reason for like starting YouTube was for Brittany. So if I didn't meet Brittany, I wouldn't be doing this. My life would be completely different. I'm pretty hungry. So we'll see you guys again at the restaurant. All right, guys. So we're currently at Caroline and Gary's favorite restaurant, which is called Nosta. And definitely rating this place like this would definitely be like a place that me and Brittany would come to quite frequently because it's got the kind of like chill vibe and the food just came out and it looks so good all right so as you can see went for all two mains we got a pasta polo which is a chicken mushroom and onion pasta i got the pizza polo which is essentially peppers chicken and mushrooms gary also got two meals a steak and is it the same pizza same pizza as me and then caroline went for the pasta carbonara with a little bit of garlic bread pasta and pizza was freaking amazing got full after like half of the pasta didn't finish it i kind of like subconsciously saved myself for the donuts that we just picked up one vanilla one hazelnut, two Kinder Buenos, a classic glazed hiding back there, and a strawberry on strawberry. Oh, okay. guys, I don't know if I have room yet. Just a bite. Okay, I can do a bite. Just a bite. Just a bite. Mm. I want to get where like, the hole is so I can like get the jam. They are good quality donuts. They're not slacking. Strawberry is very controversial choice. I would never put strawberry. You're the one with a plain donut. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was taking one bite, but it tastes so good. And we are back in the UK. Been back now for about one day. Spent the whole of yesterday just unpacking and just like getting situated. We're just about to hit an arm work at my brother, who just is getting out of his car. In the background, had such a sick weekend with the guys. I'm actually going back again next weekend because it's Gary's 21st birthday. Me and Gary got along so well, so it'd be rude of me to not go back to celebrate the big guys' big day. We're back home now. We're about to get some shit done. Let's go do some arms. Now I'm not sure how much of this workout we're going to record because my brother does have work in one hour. So I'm going to take him through a pretty savage workout. But we do have to optimize the time we have because we don't have a lot of it.
and we are back from the gym. Ended up having such a good arm workout, but honestly, if you can't train arms in an hour, you're probably like spending too much time in the gym talking or on your phone. And unless it's a leg day that could possibly take like an hour and a half to two hours, you shouldn't be spending any longer in the gym than an hour anyway. Ended up having a really good workout. Came back to a gift from my dad and it's a donut. Has there not been enough donuts in this video already? But with that being said, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. It was such a good weekend in Cork. I'm actually going back, like I said, in about two days time. So I'm excited about that to celebrate the big guy's birthday. But if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button if you haven't already joined the dance squad please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace